Oh, man. I shot the first ever caribou up here at Monroe Lake Lodge. Woo! Got right on. Yeah! Woo! Woo! That is awesome. Down he goes. That is an absolute monarch. So we're up here in northern Manitoba with Monroe Lake Lodge and we're hunting caribou and one thing that is so important when getting up here is bringing good optics. I know you've heard us say it in the past but never have we meant it more than up here in this country. All right, hard to believe it but it's raining on us. Chris and I have to turn this lock but look over my shoulder what's over there. Got him? Look at the front side, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> right on. The old 300 Ultra Meg does it again. Whew, that is awesome. I shot the first ever caribou up here at Monroe Lake Lodge. We saw, actually, Chris seen this bull sit bedded down to some pine trees, and all, all we could see is the top, so we knew good enough, that's definitely worthy of a trophy. We made a play with the wind and the rain and got, got up close. He spooked a bit as he seen, stood up. I had, took the shot a little bit per, further back than I was hoping. End result still the same though, that's the power of the 300 Ultra Mag. A little bit of forgiving if you get a little off. <sighs> Can't believe it. Wow. Right on, stick around.
Okay, here it is. It's day two. It's day two. We got a big bull up over here. Me and Ryan are gonna try and make a play. He's a big bull, really nice. Wearing the Maverick, have to today. It's really chilly out. I tell you what, I'm glad I brought this gear. Let's go for it. Yes! Woo! Oh man, down he goes. That is an absolute monarch. Monroe Lake Lodge, this place is absolutely incredible. That bull has such a beautiful, beautiful hide. Oh, I gotta thank my guide Fred. We had made a move on another bull and this bull happened to come up. Freddie dropped us off so we can make a play. And uh, unfortunately, the other bull went up and over and wasn't nearly as big as this one. Now, this one only has two shovels in the front and the starts of others, but he's real big and tall up top. Comes back, he's got some nice points. It's an excellent first barren ground, or central barren ground caribou. <sighs> that is a heck of a bull. Let's go check him out. Alrighty, Chris just dumped that huge bull and what comes out of the woodwork? Even another big bull, probably as big. Beautiful tines, this is my wall hanger. I'm gonna take this opportunity to tag out. What the heck, you don't know what the weather's coming. I'm gonna use the old Quigley Ford here. First time that I'm ever gonna use the Quigley Ford and using Chris's gun, so let's see how I make out. That is a wall hanger. Oh, now I have to admit, using someone else's gun is not that easy. It is. Oh, Quigley Ford, that's my wall hanger. Did it up here at Monroe Lake Lodge. Freddy, he spotted that one actually once Chris got his. Oh, what an adventure. An adventure of a lifetime. We gotta go see both of our animals. Ugh. Amazing. Yes. But just remember, bring good set of optics, nothing too cumbersome, and you're gonna be fine. And also, a really good rifle scope. This one here is the Quigley Ford long range scope. It's designed for up to 750 yards. It's calibrated to my 180 grain uh, bullet that I'm shooting and inside the reticle is just, it, it'll, it'll basically tell you exactly where to hold. All you gotta do is range, line it up in here, and all the way down you got little lines and it'll tell you 300, 350, 4, 450. Absolutely incredible. Yesterday you got to see me and Ryan take those bulls using this system. Man, you cannot compromise on optics. That's all I'm gonna say. When you're going on a trophy hunt of a lifetime, make sure good optics, you're going to have success. Oh man, let's actually, let's open this up. What a great, great boo. Oh man, look at this. Look at this caribou. Oh baby, that is nice. What a great animal. Look at the beautiful coat on him. I mean, that is perfect. 
I mean, this is, this is the type of cape you're looking for right here. And uh, he's got great front, a little weaker on the top. He looked a little better from a distance. I mean, that was probably 300 yards, maybe a little over. But what a great animal. I'm tickled to death with this one. This one is going to be, this one's going to be done into a European mount. Uh, we'll cape them. I'll keep this cape. It's a beautiful cape. Man, I want to say a special thanks again to Monroe Lake Lodge and to our guide, Fred. He did a fantastic job telling us these bulls were coming in. I got one more bull left to go. Ryan's tagged out now, as you guys are going to get to see in a minute. And, uh, you know, just absolutely tickled. What a great, great animal. Wow. What an amazing, amazing animal. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Holy. Ah, thank you, Northern Manitoba and Monroe Lake Lodge. <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Whew, what a beautiful creature. We got some big bulls. Maybe the one I'm looking for. We're gonna move in real quietly, try and intercept them. We're done here, Monroe Lake Lodge. What a nice caribou to end it off. It's got great, great front shovels, nice on top. Oh yeah, what a fantastic bull. Oh guys, you gotta see this shot. This is a money shot. This is lung shot all the way. The most accurate rifle I've ever shot is this 300 XCR short mag from Remington. I gotta tell you now, this is, this is the deal right here. This is, this is why we came. This is why we came. Look at that. Oh man. Wow. What a caribou. Look at the front. He's only got one shovel here. But look at the tops on this beautiful bull. What an incredible animal. An excellent fishing area and hunting area. Uh, but our goal really was to establish a, a, a place where uh, people could come in an excellent, successful area. Uh, we could give them great service. Uh, and our goal was to make people feel at home. Um, you know, it's not about the frills, not about lot, lots of stuff. It's just to make them feel at home, to make them feel as if they're safe, taken care of. And we always do our best to get our, our guests in, 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 the, uh, in a successful position to either get a nice bull or a big fish. Well, I got to tell you, we've had a blast. I know, speaking for myself, I've taken absolutely a, a monarch up here, uh, just a beautiful caribou. We've seen some, so many variations of colors and sizes. I mean, I happened to take a white one. Uh, earlier in the week and then my last one just so beautiful up top and nice front and, and but a totally different color again he was chalk um, being away from the home base sometimes it's tough uh, when you have business to deal with and it's not always this way in some camps but you guys have a satellite phone in case of emergency which is great they can get you out of here but also if you if you have an important phone call that needs to be made or if you just need to check in with the loved ones uh, maybe you're missing them a little bit. Robert can accommodate you. Um, moose hunting. You guys have some tremendous moose hunting opportunities up in this big country, but you guys do it out of the main lodge. That's correct. Um, our moose hunts are, are done 55 miles south of here, uh, which is almost a noon of it here, uh, at the main lodge. We only take 600 per year at the main lodge, and we've had some fairly nice moose uh, in the 50, 55 inch range. Uh, again, we don't take a lot of hunters. It's one-on-one -on -one with a guide. Most hunters out there are uh, very much 
like-minded, um, and it, they're basically friends waiting to happen. When you come up here, you just feel like you're old buddies by the time you leave, and everybody's exchanging numbers and so on. If you want more information on how you can come up to Monroe Lake Lodge, log on to their website at monroelakelodge.com.